yeah, we've been talking about economy. I and I am super interested in that right now. For me, it's um, um, you know, I'm doing some things differently this year, as you well know, because you're in charge of them. So, you know, cutting cutting a lot of the the paid advertising and going more the organic route. I'm trying to figure out now. I'm trying to extract that from from the economy. You know, it's everybody's always so quick to blame the economy. You know, they got poor business skills, poor salesmanship or whatever, their systems crumble. And then they're like, well, it's the economy. It's, it's, a, it's a bad economy right now. Like, well, it's probably something you're doing wrong or go back to basics. You know, what are you doing differently now? You know, did, did you hire a new salesman and now you're blaming the economy? It's probably your new guy can't sell <laughs> something like that. So, uh, and it's always hard to know when you start making major shifts and start doing a whole bunch of different things with your marketing and, if the results change, it's, it's hard to know if that's something macro going on or something micro to your business, you know? So I'm trying to get out ahead of that this year, but um, it, it feels like there might be some, it might be some, uh, some blood in the water. There might be a little bit of fear out there going on. Um, I know I've been watching a lot of your, your video. You're doing a lot of really cool short form stuff talking about all of this, this kind of stuff too right now. So I'm sure you're hearing it from a lot of different contractors, I would imagine. Um, but uh, you don't yeah, necessarily this... need. I don't. I don't think anybody. I don't think any of us really care what the uh, latest economic report is going to reveal later this month. We care how does it feel when you're out on the front line. Is it harder to sell now than it was before? I'm going to call that a recession. You know, <laughs> mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, what's what's everyone else said? What are you hearing right now from local small businesses? So I've only heard I've only heard some fear from two people. One was in North Carolina and the other one was in Los Angeles. And both of them were saying that them and their friends in the same industry have noticed a pretty significant reduction in the number of leads and sales coming in. Like there's a guy in, in LA, I think he does bathrooms and he usually does about eight, eight to 10 a month. And he's doing like two to four a month now. And this is typically the busy season. It's summer. Um, maybe LA is a little different because now is the hot season and winter time isn't as bad as it is up North. But, uh, those are the only two. Everyone else seems to be business as usual. So, and there's, there's a handful not even a handful, probably 60% of our clients, we have about 40, are doing better than ever. So it's really bizarre. I keep I keep a really close tab on this stuff and um, every morning and evening I spend at least a half an hour just kind of like listening to a few sources, trying to get an idea of what's going on. But if I wasn't doing that, and we're watching the news or anything, I wouldn't really notice anything different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's interesting. And I was chatting with um, with one of my buddies that does um, remodeling too. And so he was saying, oh yeah, things are better than they've ever been. He said, cool. So are you working through a backlog right now? Or are these jobs you've sold recently? He says, oh gosh, no, we sold these like last year. And I said, oh, so you wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know if there is a recession, you won't know until next year. The jobs that you're trying to sell now so that's mm. the other thing too you know i think uh and it doesn't affect it, it doesn't affect everybody evenly you know it doesn't affect every industry or every sector evenly so uh, you know widespread fear about what's the economy going to do well you know i don't know or, then are you are you a new construction contractor or are you a remodeling contractor thinking back to like 2008 um that was actually when i started my business and I didn't have a clue. I mean, would I have made different decisions if I knew that we were just entering into the quote unquote great recession at that time? Would I have left my safe banking job? I don't know. Maybe I might've made some different decisions, but looking back now, I'm really glad I started my business in 2008 because I think we all know, you know, if you can, if you can survive in the downtimes, then you come out strong when the, when the economy really picks up again. So um, no regrets on that, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, I didn't particularly feel it anyway because I wasn't I wasn't in the construction industry. That's a whole that's a whole nother industry. I was in the building trades, you could say. I was a paint contractor, 
Um, but I wasn't in the construction industry at all. So I was trying to carve out my little niche working for the, you know, the small Mary and Joe Smith, you know, and they didn't care what the building market was doing. They were just trying to say, well, uh, I get, we're not going to be selling our house anytime soon, but we still want to be comfortable here. So we need mm -hmm. to maintain our investment. The painting trade especially is, there's a lot, I think there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of crossover between some of the building trades and some maintenance trades. You know, the maintenance trades have a whole different set of economic forces that, that affect them maybe. So sometimes I feel like I have more in common with, if I talk with, um, with house cleaners, <laughs> sometimes I think, Oh, that's interesting. You and I have some of the same things that we're battling against, you know, because it's a maintenance trade. Um, so I don't know, but yeah, back in 2008, it was nothing but good. We just sailed through the great recession. It was no big deal. So I see no reason to get overly excited about, you know, what the, what the, uh, what the GDP reports reveal, <laughs> you know, what mm -hmm. the unemployment rates are predicted to be, you know, that may or may not affect the construction trades, may not, may or may not affect yours or my construction business in particular, because we, we're all operating in our own little micro economies. You know, it may not affect Colorado like it affects LA. You know, for example, here in Colorado, we've got a lot of, a lot of government money, a lot of military bases here. We've got the Air Force Academy. A lot of, there's just a lot of government spending and the government's not going to stop spending on military and infrastructure if the economy dips, which is, they never do. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's stable, steady money. Um, we benefit from that. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, we both live in places that it will take longer for this stuff to reach. Um, and it's going to affect everybody in every area differently. Um, California was already in rough water. With, for a bunch of reasons. And so it makes sense that they would see this first. Um, also, LA is one of the most inflated economies that there are. And so it makes sense for them to, to feel it first. Up here in Northern Idaho, uh, I think we'll be, we'll be like a year or two behind everyone else, most likely. Because everything lags. It's like things that are happening today won't be felt for eight months. And so, and I think everyone's like hyper aware of the recession stuff. It's, it's pumped in the media now. Like it's just in everyone's face and that's regardless of what it is, what matters most is what people think it is, you know? Um, so oh, yeah. 100%. it's all psychological <laughs> and then, but then as contractors, you gotta, you gotta think that way too. Like this is, this is predominantly psychological. So are you just going to fall victim to that? You know, you're going to start panicking and start chopping your prices left and right and thinking, you know, thinking that the world is ending or are you going to stay the course? You know, and there will be some washout for sure. There always is some of the, maybe the new startup companies are going to have a really hard time. They're really going to struggle if they don't sell a strategy, but, um, then again, it could be an opportunity for the smart for the smaller companies too. If they've got a better marketing plan than their bigger competitors, uh, and they can maybe they're not even trying to undercut on price. They just are. They're just trying to get a foothold in the market, um, and it's it's as good a time for them as any. If they've got a solid marketing strategy and, and they're they're ready to really step up and do some big things anyway, but there's fewer players than ever before. There's fewer people entering entering the industry and that's been a problem for years you know, there's no there's more turnover than there is uh new new people coming into the trades so we've all got that going you know that that's a disadvantage in a new business owner too mm -hmm. yeah for me i think like okay what what am i going to do differently when things get tougher and when i ask myself that i'm like well i'm not really going to do anything differently because i'm already doing that and i think that's what everyone should be doing. It's like, what would you do if times got tough? Okay, just do that now. Like that you run a good business, invest in your marketing and your people and yourself, you know, move things forward to the best of your abilities all the time. Don't wait until 
it's really difficult to do it because then you're more likely to fail. And, um, you know, it's like we, if we look back when the whole COVID thing in 2020 and 2021, they shut down pretty much the whole world shut down at one time or another. And what happened? You had tons of small businesses stopping or closing, and then you had the big corporations expanding and gaining power. And that trend continues. And that's happening in the marketing for home services sector. Um, I just did a video on this a few days ago. I don't know if it's released yet, but I've done it this a few times where I'll just do a Google search. This time I did fencing installation near me and there was four ads on Google and all four of those ads led to Angie leads. <laughs> yeah, two of them were just lead gen websites that are pretending to be local companies. One was Angie and then the other one was, I can't remember what the fourth one was, but they all led to the same place. And that's just the trend as I've been watching it and reporting on it is they're taking over the market. Pretty soon the entire front page of Google will lead to Angie. And if anything happens to Google Maps or if Angie's able to get on there somehow, it'll be it'll be almost game over for local contractors trying to market. Um, right now, Google Maps is the only place that they have that they don't have to compete with these national companies. So, you know, I think that's why I push really hard. Everyone should be doing Google Maps and you should be taking things offline as much as you can too. Like be involved in your com community, have a network, trade jobs with other contractors, like do things that are offline and do the things online and, and have your bases covered. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, that's all real solid, I think. And that's something that I talk about a lot too.